కాదు నమస్తే తెలుగువారు మనస్సాక్షి సాక్షి న్యూస్ కి స్వాగతం వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఫన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ షో దెర్ ఇస్ ఎ ప్రోవర్బ్ ద ఆర్ట్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఇన్ మేకింగ్ మనీ బట్ ఇన్ కీపింగ్ ఇట్ సో సమ్టైమ్స్ ఇట్ మైట్ ది టైమ్ కన్జ్యూమింగ్ అండ్ సమ్టైమ్స్ నెవ్ బ్రాకింగ్ ప్రాసెస్ సో ఇట్ వుడ్ బి ఆల్వేస్ బెస్ట్ టు హ్యావ్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ అడ్వైజర్ హూ కెన్ హెల్ప్ అస్ ఇన్ ప్లానింగ్ ఫర్ అవర్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ ఫ్యూచర్ that to college education in usa ante everyone knew that it cost a lot so along the college education course of financial experts they advise this kunte everyone can save their savings and today we have our guest venkateswara uh, we are chini who is going to say about how to save and plan for college educations um, he is on a mission to empower families to achieve their financial goals through fiscal prudence and smart long term investment strategies and as a financial coach and licensed financial planner he helps families and small business protect their financial assets while realizing their vision of success today mr chinni is a sought after speaker and guest expert guest expert uh, who has appeared on television radio and youtube programs designed to simplify family finance and ante kadandi he is a recognized expert trusted for offering sound advice in every area of investment like your personal finance like our show life insurance college expenses planning to help in health insurance work and long term care final expenses bills and trusts and estate planning ila cheptundu unte aina he has hosted more than 150 weekly educational seminars and live interactive webinars for thousands of us families so Let's welcome our guest. Namaste, we are Garu. Namaste, Radhika. Thank you. Hi. So, Hi. yeah, welcome to our show. Uh, how are you doing this evening today? Doing good, doing good. Thank you so much um, for, uh, you know, uh, this is a good, uh, good opportunity for all the Sakshi uh, TV uh, viewers. And uh, this evening we're going to be, yeah, uh, sharing some really good information for the parents. Thank you. Right. Thanks, you. Thanks for inviting me to have... Uh, you know it's an honor for me to be here it's a pleasure so obviously as i told uh, i mean earning is different and saving is obviously different and that to college education in usa there are many people who are interested to know how to save their amounts by uh, for this college education so okay let's begin the program and before that let me tell our viewers so viewers andaru chustunnaru kada kinda scroll out the numbers ki meer gaani call cheste uh and me kevin a questions untai ante how to save and when to start the savings for the college education and entry please do call and uh, get get the advice of mr vr so uh vr garu asalu ee college education usa inta expensive avadaniki oka ante generally when compared to other countries enduku ani meer what do you say about that yeah this is uh, yeah very important uh, you know aspect uh, when we really want to talk about but um, radhika garu meer uh, first lo point, point baga cheppar dan meeda koncham nenu cheppal anukuntna meer annaru ante it's like a meaning laga uh, making money yeah. is one aspect but at the same time saving is also very important especially for college education anedi uh, this is very very uh, important and very very true uh so manamo ee roju ikkada most of the families uh, we are running after making money right. left and right mm-hmm. so but at the same time we're putting very less time to plan ourselves of you know course. uh f- for us and uh, there is also a kind of a saying you know making money is important but protecting whatever we have and planning properly is more important than making money exactly yeah this is very powerful that's thank that's you for sharing yeah thank yeah. you for sharing that it, it's pretty uh, yeah um important and interesting to know and uh, coming uh, you know about talking about this uh, college education you know we are uh, from a place we know we are manam andaram bharata bharat desam nunchi vachamu so we know how the college education no schooling ante enti college education ante nidi oka different aspect lo nunchi ingoka kotta prapanchalo ko vacham manam america ku vachina appudu so we're kind of talking about you know first re- first generation parents we don't manaki ee college education system gurinchi anta ekko avagahana ledu 
తెలుసుకుందామన్నా గానీ దెర్ ఈస్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ జనరేషన్ గ్యాప్ ఉంది ఇక్కడ ఇప్పుడు మన పిల్లలు కాలేజ్ ఇప్పుడు పిల్లలు కాలేజ్ కి వెళ్ళిన పేరెంట్స్ కంటే దెర్ ఇస్ ఆల్వేస్ అ జనరేషన్ గ్యాప్ అండ్ దానితో పాటు మనకి ఇదంత కొత్త అసలు కాలేజ్ అనేది చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ కొంచెం మన భారతదేశంలో ఆలోచనలకి ఇక్కడ ఆలోచనలకు చూస్తే వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ ఏంటంటే భారతదేశంలో మనము ఎల్కేజీ యూకేజీ నుంచే మనము డబ్బులు దాచి పెట్టడం స్టార్ట్ చేయాలి ఎందుకంటే అక్కడ మీకు అన్లెస్ యు నో ఐ మీన్ ఐ హ్యాపెన్ టు బి గోయింగ్ టు ద పబ్లిక్ స్కూల్స్ సో మై పేరెంట్స్ డింట్ హ్యావ్ టు యాక్చువల్లీ పే ఎనీ పెన్నీ ఫర్ మై స్కూల్స్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ ఫర్ కాలేజ్ యునో సో Uh, but here uh, if you're really talking about as of today in india uh, so parents actually has to start a uh, saving money a lot of money a uh, spend lot of money even from the lkg to ukg right and, and it gradually increases uh, so based on where they want to go which college you know it's not only college right which country they want to go these days you know i want to go for uh, um, you know do my ms in us i want to do my ms in australia or uk you know we have so many options right but when it comes to right. coming back to costs manaki bharatdesham unna vallaki chinna pannunche vaallu chinna pillalu pannunche telusu but ikkada mana adrushtam entante america lo unna vallaki actually idu adrushtam ante enduko cheppagalara meer endu adrushtam antanu parents america lo unna parents ikkada unde vallaki adrushtam ani cheppanu enduko cheppagalara enduko ante vaalle akka nunchi ikkadiki vachin tarvata ikkada system mundu parents alavadu padtaru and from their pillalaki ee feel avutundi ante chinna pa ninche vaalu college education okay enti there will be a goal ante akkada maniki india lo entante okay intermediate raagane mbca by bca or okay engineering or doctor itla direct ga id untundi but here there are lot many options for children like right. they have freedom also so adanta pursue cheyadaniki right. parents obviously uh, first vaalki knowledge vastundi and uh, pillalaku kuda adi lot of help uh-huh. అక్కడ ఏంటంటే ఆప్షన్స్ మనకి ఉంటాయి కానీ మళ్ళీ స్కోప్ తక్కువ జాబ్స్ ఇది తక్కువ బట్ ఇక్కడ వచ్చేసరికి లక్కీ ఏంటంటే దిస్ ఇస్ అ ల్యాండ్ ఆఫ్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ అండ్ ఆబ్వియస్లీ ఏ ఫీల్డ్ ఎంచుకున్నా కూడా దానికి తగ్గ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ ఉంటాయి that is what oh, i want to hear you know <laughs> that is what i really wanted to hear you know first thing first of all manu ayyo anukune badulu mundu manam ikkada unnamo ante you are lucky as a parent you are lucky as a child you are so lucky you know you have to see when when you when would you say i'm uh, um, radhika you are lucky or so lucky because you got to compare eh? compare cheyakapothe adante undi manu adi baagundi takku undi ekku undante compare cheyalasinde manu lekapothe cheppalem kada so alanti alanti situations lo yeah we are so lucky the parents and generations are very lucky and also even in terms of uh, uh, the money factor oste because of the you know fun factor show lo money factor ochi vaste ela undante ipudu ikkada puttina pillal parents ki from uh, kindergarten nunchi high school velle entu varaku dabbu pettakunda chadukochu oh that is uh... andi asalu manam choodala choodala value choodala value choosing tarvate we have to see it so yeah it is a free education and that to quality education yeah exactly unless you wanted to go you know some parents want to go to private school or whatever but that's okay but in general yeah. it's a quality education very systematic and free right until right. your child be- gets into high school or right. i mean finishes high school what an amazing opportunity compare cheskundam jagratha ade akkada akkada mari public school tune akkada maniki అక్కడ పంపిస్తే ఫ్రీ అని చెప్పి అక్కడ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అసలు ఏమి మనకి అన్ఫార్చునేట్ అది ఐ మీన్ దట్స్ షూర్ అది అది మన మన టాపిక్ కాదు కాబట్టి ఎనీ కామెంట్స్ ఆన్ దాట్ బికాస్ యా దట్స్ హౌ వాట్ వీ ఆర్ దట్స్ వాట్ వీ ఆర్ లివింగ్ త్రూ ఇట్స్ అ డిఫరెంట్ సిచ్యువేషన్ I mean I don't mind actually talking on that topic if uh, Sakshi TV invited me to invites me to that show also uh, I have my sayings to say yeah so exactly. now now coming back to this thing yeah we're so lucky the parents who are living in US is so lucky that you know you have a free education until you tr- I know your child turns high school and that's where it starts right college education that's right. where it starts so it's like kind of a uh, the growth is exponential change సో ఇన్ని సంవత్సరాలు మనం ఏమీ లేకుండా మన పిల్లలు చదువుకున్నది ఆటోమేటిక్ గా ఆల్ ఆఫ్ అ సడన్ దెన్ ద కాస్ట్ ఇస్ ఇంక్రీజింగ్ సో మచ్ 
కాలేజ్ నుంచి అది ఇంపార్టెంట్ మనం ఏంటంటే ఇప్పుడు మనం అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఉంది మనకి బట్ కాస్ట్ ఉంది బట్ హౌ డు బి ప్లాన్ స్మార్ట్ అందుకోసమే ఈ షో ఇప్పుడు ఏంటంటే ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ సో మనం ఏంటంటే ఇప్పుడు కాలేజ్ కి మనకి ఆప్షన్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఇన్ స్టేట్ కాలేజ్ అని ఉంది ప్రైవేట్ స్కూల్స్ పబ్లిక్ కాలేజెస్ ఉన్నాయి తర్వాత ఐవీ లీగ్స్ ఉన్నాయి సో దెర్ ఆర్ సో మెనీ ఆప్షన్స్ బట్ ఈ మనం మరి పన్నెండు సంవత్సరాలు మనం ఫ్రీగా చదువుకుంటున్నాం కదా మరి అలాంటప్పుడు పేరెంట్స్ పన్నెండు సంవత్సరాలు కూడా జాగ్రత్తగా కొంచెం కొంచెం దాచిపెట్టుకుంటూ ఉంటే అంత అంత ఉండదు కదా సో దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ వీ సే ఈస్ కాలేజ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఈజ్ వీ నో మనం మనం భారతీయులం కాదు భారతదేశం నుంచి వచ్చాం కాబట్టి వీ నో ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఇంకా మనకు అది చెప్పాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు పీరియడ్ రైట్ యా వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వీ నో దాట్ అండ్ ఎట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్పెన్సివ్ here in us college education is very expensive if you don't plan properly kind of saying the expense but oh yeah i have a you know half a million dollars sitting in my account no problem that's not a, that's not even expensive situation for you but we are not talking to only one two people right we are talking to so it's an expensive situation for a family to plan for college education and uh, the understanding is if you don't plan properly మనం ప్రాపర్ గా ప్లాన్ చేసుకోలేకపోతే పిల్లల ఎడ్యుకేషన్ కి వి మే గెట్ ఇన్ టు ఎ లోన్ డెట్ ఎ లోన్ తీసుకో సో అది అట్లా తర్వాత ఇంకొకటి ఏంటంటే ఈ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద కాలేజ్ అనేది ఇట్స్ ఇంక్రీజింగ్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ సో ఏంటంటే ఇన్ఫ్లేషన్ తో పాటు కాలేజ్ ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ కూడా రేజ్ అవుతున్నాయి you know so so ultimately what the thing is you cannot get away from this situation but you can plan properly yeah you know so mana pillalu they are not going to go to college at one point of a time but there is no you know time actually runs very faster so overall the situation choose the college education system choose they you have a more freedom and you have a more option to choose from it is all it actually is you need to plan properly and what is a, where as parents you don't know you know chinna pillalu unnapudu you don't know how where they are going to go to college which college they going to go and what kind of a, uh, 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 the majors they are going to take medicine right. or non medicine or whatever we don't know but it is as a parents you know you need to start you know a plan properly so that uh, you know you have something uh, you know in hand so uh, yeah chaala manchi vishayam chepparu aithe when to start saving for college education adi anadi basic thing chaala mandi parents ki oka ippude inka chaala time undi kada ani anukuntaru adi meer evana advice ivagalara yeah when to yeah. start exact saving sure yeah definitely it will be a surprising situation for everyone bendu cheptunaru ante based on our experiences we have talked to so many families we help so many families on financial planning సో ఒక ఆ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ చెప్పే ముందు నేను హౌ హౌ అవర్ పేరెంట్స్ ఆర్ రియలీ టిపికలీ థింకింగ్ వెన్ ఐ టాక్ టు మదర్ ఆఫ్ టెన్ ఇయర్ ఓల్డ్ యు నో చైల్డ్ ఆస్ యు నో ఆస్ అ ప్రాసెస్ ఆఫ్ యు నో వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ సో వై ఆస్క్ అబౌట్ యు నో సో వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ అ ప్లాన్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఫర్ యువర్ చైల్డ్ కాలేజ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ యు నో వాట్ షీ సెట్ she said uh, uh you know my child is only 10 year old okay yeah that's right, right my child is <laughs> only 10 year old i have so many years to go why would i have to worry about now you know she thinks and i'm sure there are so many families out there uh that uh, the parents are thinking that they have a lot of time to save for college education okay, okay. and she you know if your child is a 8 year old you uh, are 10 year old you think you have 8 years big 8 years to save money and now coming back to the statistics what the statistics are saying so meer adugutunnatluga when to start saving right very interesting um, are you ready radhika so <laughs> so what they saying is statistics are saying if the baby is born today okay the baby is born today to i uh, know a parents okay they just born today that means they, the parents have 18 full 18 years to save money for the baby's college education right of course yeah that yes, is right. the, not the yeah. best option so you know 18 years yeah just the, just baby baby is born 
Now the statistics, now the parents actually went and then asking about, uh, hey, you know what, uh, we really value education. We really wanted to plan properly for my baby. It's a college education. So we just wanted to find out, uh, you know, when should we start saving money for my baby's college education? Okay, okay. And then uh, the, the the statistical expert said, yeah, this is absolutely awesome. Hey, by the way, congratulations, you got a newborn baby. Mm -hmm. And then he was kind of saying, uh, yes, um, based on the, the statistics, what we are talking about, you know, in the 10, 20, you know, 30 years past. Um, so um, you need to start saving money from today. Oh, right. So baby, yeah. Baby is born. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. There you go. So that's what uh, that's what I said. You know, Radhika, are you ready? So yeah. yes. So uh, you know, that's what a lot of people, a lot of families and, and parents think that okay, they have a so loads and loads of time to start, you uh, know, saving money. Here is the one more kicker for you, Radhika. So yeah, that's okay. And then the parents have said that yeah, that's fine, no problem. You know, that's what we wanted anyways. We wanted to start, I know, from today. Uh, they were so happy, the parents. And then the next question they asked, okay, um, uh, so how much we should start saving money? Right. Okay, we're okay to start saving money. And how much? Is it $10, yeah. $20, or $170, whatever it is? Radhika, can you have a guess how much they should should start saving money? Just a while, guess. You know, I'm not putting on you anything. Just a while. So I a while guess. Uh, maybe if we take uh, different, different plans, maybe like... Uh... 200 like that something like that <laughs> i don't know sure i mean yeah. that's a i mean that's a nice guess yeah absolutely so this is it depends on where it is right we're only right. talking about the child is going to go to public school okay the mm -hmm. child is going to go to public school not private not ivy league okay so the statistics saying you need to start saving money from today right mm -hmm. and then 500 dollars per month 500 dollars so depending upon the plan and everything, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's not a depending of the plan. It is your 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 target is sending your child to public school. If you are planning to send your uh, child to private school, it it may be seven hundred or nine hundred dollar per month. Oh, so, so it's a very to the base, very to the base. Sending a child to a public school itself starts with basic five hundred. That's right. Yeah. Oh, it's kind okay. of I, I know. Yeah. I was telling 200 based on this uh, strategy only. Maybe sending to a public school might uh, lower yeah. down the monthly uh, yeah. saving. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, exactly. So that's where we are, uh, you know, Radhika. Uh, so um, it's, we think as parents, you know, I'm also one of them, right? So I'm not actually separating myself. <laughs> so we are all we're all in the same boat. Uh, but who do we know? How do we know? You only know when you talk. We only know when you have an intention to plan. You only oh. will know the numbers when you're really seriously, you know, uh, sit and then I know discuss with your, you know, wife and husband and see what they want to do for the child and see how much they want to do it. You know, if you have a, how many children you have? One, two, three. So it depends on that. So, yeah. But uh, after all these, the statistics won't change. If you have a child going to school and, uh, you know, you want to plan properly so that you don't have any uh, extra surprises by the time they go to school or you don't want to get into loan. So it's right. kind of an average, average uh, you know, uh, the fund that you want to save uh, uh, is $500 per month. On an average. Nice, nice. <laughs> so, so that's a yeah. good start up, I guess, for the <laughs> so right from the baby is born, we have to start uh, saving. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and now you know, right, when to start saving money, you know, that's oh, what yeah. the whole idea is about. Yes, right, right. You know? uh, so, before going to our next, next topic, uh, let me tell our viewers once again to. So, Andru, choose to Narkada. Is saving and the opening start chali and the and if you have different different questions, definitely it's the right time to give a call and get a uh, proper advice. Okay, coming back to our show, VRG. Uh, I heard there is 529 plan. Uh, what is that about? Can you explain? Okay. That's a very interesting question, this one. Radhika, thank you. I mean, you got all the uh, interesting questions that you yeah, uh, I about it, bringing it, uh, it to me. This is good. You know, it's all about numbers, right? When you're in the United States, you know, you got all numbers. Um, well, uh, <clears throat> well, letters and numbers, when I say. Um, even from the time that we got into this country, 
we started with numbers and letters. Of course. <laughs> what is that? What is that, Radhika? Numbers are obviously every dollar, every dollar counts. That's what right. matters. Right. Now, I don't want to put in one more more this thing. That, I mean, when we start, when we started coming to this, thinking about coming to this country, these are all letters and numbers, right? We came here. We came to this country with H one B. That's a number. Right. So, oh, so okay. It's one actually, yeah, all the numbers and letters. So when you come, start coming, we started with H one B and H four, mm -hmm. and then uh, one forty, I one forty. You know, uh, right? Can, I'm talking about right? the, yeah, number, those that's numbers, that's right? Yeah. So this is the company. I mean, the country, the whole country has their own kind of a designated numbers. So now when you're really talking about our finances and life and everything, um, uh, when you're really talking about finances, there is a number called 401k. Oh, 401. Right, right, right. See, it's a number. Yes. So what is it? It's all for retirement, right? Oh, yeah. There is a number for retirement. There is that number for the other thing. This is a number for this thing. Similarly, 529 is a number for college education. So when that's where you really popularly look at it because these are all kind of a, sometimes it are actually conjunction with the IRS codes because for every, uh, um, you know, the vehicle, they have some tax treatment, income tax treatment. Okay. So, okay. because again, I'm not a CPA. I cannot talk about that, but I can only give you general information. So whatever you have the knowledge about these numbers, that is only the knowledge I have it because I'm not, but I'm a licensed financial professional. You talk about any finances, I have a license to talk about, I have a license to help you about. So okay. let's talk about general numbers, okay? 401k, 403b, IRA, you know, traditional IRA, 529, right? So these are all yeah. the numbers. So this number is purely for college education purposes, education purposes. So like the okay. system that painted that, like the system is kind of set up like a you know, 401k for retirement purposes. That means you have right. a 401k vehicle, then you actually start contributing to this 401k, you know, on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis. Then the, all the money that is accumulating that you can use it for retirement. Right, right. Yeah. And there are taxes, there are, you know, this and that. Just uh, so what is this all for? So it's all to encourage, you know, oh. encourage families. Uh, so uh, they've introduced a 401k because, you know, you're going to put this money so that this money is going to be, you know, for you by the time you return. So I'm not uh, that much encouraged. So then what they've done was, hey, you know what? If you put 5%, your employer is going to put 5 more percent. Oh, wow. Now it's good. I like it. That's awesome. Okay, let me put 5%. So I get 5% free money. That's not enough for some families. Then the IRS say, you know what? Um, if you do contribute this money, whatever the money you're contributing, I'm not going to put you income tax on it. Oh, wow, awesome. I love it. Okay, Obviously. wow. So, income tax. So see, these are all, the, why, why actually the concept, this is all I'm sharing about a concept, Radhika. Not that, you know, I'm actually explaining you a, a, a kind of a technical understanding. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not at that level, right? I'm not a CPA. So, so yeah. this, as, as in general, bringing a discipline, bringing, you know, uh, a kind of understanding and value of retirement. So okay. you, is, you have this uh, uh, benefit, you have a disencouragement, you get a free money from your employer so, so that you have enough money. So similar way, that's a 529 for college education. So when do we need to plan for this, I mean, initiate this 529 plan. Like say, for example, 401, once we step into the job, uh, employer is going to take care and we, anyway, we are going to do that, uh, put some amount. So when do we start to, to take up this 529 plan? Yeah, these are all like a, a typical accounts, like a private accounts. Um, okay. So whenever you start, uh, you know, for example, in this uh, typical family, just born baby, you know, they mm -hmm. started saving money, right? Oh. Then before okay. they start saving money, they open a 529 account, oh. like a 401k account. Then they started contributing the money into the 529 account. Oh, again, it's the same. Baby is born and yeah. again, you start 529 plan. Okay. Yeah. okay. Very yes. simple. Very okay. simple. Uh, yeah. And because of that, uh, you know, because uh, the 529 is specifically for college education or education purposes, so they actually gave some kind of a benefits out of it. So oh. the benefits, uh, yeah, so you have some benefit uh, from there. So uh, the benefits is, uh, you know, it's a tax deferred growth. If you put the money into 529 account, if the money is growing, you know, let's say you put $5,000 and then the money actually became $100,000. So you don't have to pay any income tax on the growth. As far as you use it for the, all the money is for college education purposes. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so you have a benefit. Yeah, you have a benefit so far. So it's so uh, popular a vehicle for college education, uh, and that's one of them is actually out there. Uh, but but saying at the same time, you know, a lot of families ask me, oh no, we we um, uh, um, uh, uh, web search of for five twenty nine. Uh, we've got a mixed understandings. You know, there is a plus, there is a minus to it. Okay. So it's not a great plan. And uh, yeah, I talked to my friend. Uh, he said one friend said uh, positive, one friend said negative. Oh. What is this? This is a 529 that's been there. Then you, when you Google, I didn't want to use Google. I, that's why I said web search. Yeah, yeah. it came up. So, uh, so you, you search internet and you talk to your friends. So my advice uh, through my experience, my advice to all the viewers of uh, you know, this program, yes, you can uh, you know, get opinions from internet searches from your friends and close friends. But uh, those uh, inputs, uh, you know, uh, you you may not want to decide on what the internet is saying, what your friends are saying. You know, oh. internet says both sides. It says right. positive, it says, you know, negative. And then your friends are also a little, you know, you sometimes, you know, Radhika, we have a close friend, right? And then you say, oh, my close friend, my, my, my buddy, you know, he took this plan. I think I'm going to take that blindly. Please do not... You know, please do not uh, actually exercise that way because even though you are two close friends, uh, you know, your family situation may differ from uh, he, your close friend's family situation. I'm just giving you a very uh, a random example. Let's say your for close friend has a three children and you have a only one child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. You think whatever the plan is working for a, a three-year-old parent is going to work for you or vice versa. But you both are close friends. So my kind of a request is, if you really wanted to plan properly, and, and you know, it is always a, a worth, uh, you actually work with a financial professional. So that yeah. is my, you know, wanting to say, before I actually say about 529s about, you know, I'll tell you about, you know, this is our general understanding, you know, there is so much information to share with, uh, oh, yeah. um, but college education is not a simple thing. You know, uh, from outside, you said only college education, but when you actually get in, it's a, a huge ocean of itself. Yeah, 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 of course. No? Uh, yeah. I see so, that, yeah. Yeah, so that's the kind of a thing I, I really want to say. You know, every, not there, uh, in my kind of a look, uh, you know, uh, thing, there is nothing perfect in the world, Radhika. Yeah. There is nothing perfect in but the world. It's true, all, yeah. Perspective. It is all about perspective, how you are seeing it. And also everything deals with numbers. That is, uh, yes. I believe in that. Everything numbers. Yeah. There you go. There you go. You have to, you know, you have to kind of understand that, uh, you know, uh, how, you know, uh, you, it may work for you. And that's what there was a saying, right? Uh, uh, I don't remember that. Uh, someone's, uh, you know, uh, trash is uh, someone else's uh, treasure. Is that, no. is that how they say? Something, oh, something similar okay. to that. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say. Oh. But uh, what we say then, is it a trash but or is it a trash? Yeah, perspective matters, exactly. It's all yeah. about what it is, yeah. Please do, you know, have a, a calculated way of, uh, you know, like you say, Radhika numbers, right? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, please have a calculated way of looking at these things, uh, all the options that are available for you, so you decide. Not that the internet saying, not that... Uh, uh, your close friend is saying, or your friends are saying, you know, no disrespect, right. but they do give you a valuable input to you, though. You know, the internet gives you a valuable input. What should you consider when you're actually planning to have this plan? And you, your friends also share, hey, you know what, yeah, I've done this one, uh, but uh, I think uh, this is not how it is. Yeah, that's, that's a good point for you, so that you make sure when you actually go through for your own family. So, yeah. Uh, sometimes, I mean, while uh, doing the financial planning and all, uh, people might overlook and okay we will do next month next month that next month will never come that is for sure I have seen a couple of friends like that and of course sometimes uh, during very small small things uh, people will neglect and uh, that will definitely give a, a huge impact in future I can say that yeah sure Radhika I hope uh, all your friends are watching this so uh, uh, you know so hopefully now, uh, well, you know, wait for the positive response or maybe some kind of, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, if it's a positive. Like, this year, yeah. yeah.
Yeah, Radhika, here is a deal for you. If it is a positive response from all your friends and contacts, take it. If it is not so positive, send them to me. I oh, will yeah. actually give some information. Okay. Oh, I'm going to and, uh, yeah. yeah. If if any way that they're saying, hey, this is not needed, this is not good, whatever, whatever it is. Either way, it's okay. I'm able to, I'm, I'm sure I'm able to actually give some information for them so that oh, they have some insight. Okay. Yeah. I would say financial advisor is a, uh, or taking the advice is the best thing that anyone can do because a lot of things will be going on rolling uh, or the, on our daily life. So definitely this college education thing is everyone who uh, even has to concentrate. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I know there are much more topic that uh, we can uh, discuss. Okay, uh, can you tell like what are the other options to save for the college other than this uh, 529 plan? Yeah, so this is actually a very uh, a, a trending as well as a burning situation in the in in the community. Um, okay. You know, the parents go for it, and then they internal search. They see five twenty nine. They research on that. They find pluses and minuses, and then they get it up. Oh boy, it's not good for it's not good for me, and oh. and, uh, and then they stop it. Yeah. And by the time the child is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, that's how they become ten year old, eleven year old, twelve. Still, they're searching. Still, yeah, they're yeah. searching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so this is what I really wanted to emphasize on this. You know, let's say, um, um, uh, Radhika. So, if someone you know got some not that cough thing, I don't want to get that cough situation because if it's a COVID nineteen situation, oh, right? Yeah. So, let's talk about some other. Uh, uh, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, like, let's say a tummy ache or something. You know, let's say, you know, this guy has some mild tummy ache and then you, what do you do? You just do some home remedies or internet search and do these things, see if it goes away. It's not going away one, two, three, four days and what do you do? Radhika, yeah. Stay, right? You just call your doctor. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Is this time, time, time is running out. Yeah, mm -hmm. time is running out. So I would actually exactly apply the same thing. If you have a child, and you're planning for a college education, yeah, you've got a good start. What do you do? You just need to research. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Then you got some questions, negatives, right? Then what do you do? Okay. You keep researching or you keep spending time? But your child is not holding. Your yeah, child is I growing. He's growing. Yeah. yeah, he's growing. So what do you do? So similar way where you go to a doctor after four or five days, what you need to do here is you need to talk to a financial professional. Okay, yeah. That is what, you know, it's okay. You know, what is there? You know, what, what do we need it for our, for our life? You know, a family is for what? You know, to take exactly. care of all the responsibilities and everything and have a beautiful uh, uh, life and then maybe uh, build some, a strong wealth, right? right. Then, then what is it actually stopping you to, to plan? Why are, why are we actually procrastinating that, oh yeah, I need to plan for my call, my child college education. I need to, they're 10 year, 11 year, 12 year, 13 year old now. What do you do now? So now we know that, okay, if the baby is born, you need to actually start saving money for $500 per month. Let's say now your child is nine year old. Mm -hmm. Imagine how much money you should start saving money for month, per month. Yeah. Not $500, it's not going to be enough. So maybe eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. increased, obviously. Yeah. Yes. So that's what we're we're really talking about, you know. But uh, now you talk. You were asking me what other options we have, right? We have a, right. a dozen, a dozen options. When you're just talking about a dozen options, it's not just one option. But only five twenty nine is one a popular plan out there. Okay. Oh, okay. It, 29 plan is purely for college education that's why they know and you have some advantages and uh, you know whatnot and there is also another option called a prepaid plan so okay. the one that is a prepaid plan how that prepaid plan works is you let's say if you are living in state of new jersey or state okay. of florida so now if you are visualizing that your child is going to go to some school in state of florida only like an in-state right. In if you are yeah. kind of visualizing that way, okay, my child is only going to go to Florida because I'm living in Florida. Okay, my child is going to go to in Florida only. Then right. also, and you think my child is only going to go to public schools only in Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you can opt for prepaid uh, plans. So prepaid. prepaid plans, yeah, prepaid. It's like yeah, a, I those days. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's one of them out there. 
Um, so prepaid is something like, you know, based on age and based on the selection and whatnot, some options, some criteria, they will tell you, hey, you know what, you pay per month on this much money and until, uh, you know, this many number of years and you're done. All the college and tuition expenses and everything is covered. Whether at that time of the college, the time that your child is going to go to school, even if it's more than what you paid for, we cover it for you. So like a prepaid. Okay, so the other, I mean, yeah, you are saying the 529 plan is also prepaid. At the same time, uh, I heard about other plans like um, Roth IRA or like a brokerage accounts, uh, uh, like custodial accounts. So, yes. I mean, mutual funds. I mean, I heard about all these things. Maybe sure. uh, can you explain about these as well? Uh, Absolutely. So, yeah, so every plan, like I was talking about, every plan has its own pluses and minus, right? So 529 has its own plus and minus, prepaid has its own plus and minus. So what is a prepaid uh, plus and minus? Because it's a prepaid, you're only restricting to only the state where you are living. How do you know if your child is, you know, three-year-old, it's 15 years to go to college, right? How do you right. know that in 15 years, nothing is going to change and you still are going to live in Florida and then ch your child wanted to go to school in Florida? You know, I mean, if you are yeah. sure. So that's kind of a you know, downside of uh, the prepaid plans. But right. in the, there are some plans that state offer, you know, if you're still wanting to go out of Florida, for example, I'm, keep, I'm using a Florida as an example. So, yeah. you know, uh, okay, not that I live in Florida. So, <laughs> so... Um, so there are some plans that, you know, you can use these funds for other uh, other states, but there's going to be some penalty or some other, you know, uh, uh, fees, you know, all those things. But the right. thing is, the overall understanding is the prepaid is for in-state plans and 529 okay. is for anywhere in the country. You can, oh. this account, you know, that, the money that you're in, uh, you know, putting the money is uh, in there. Um, you know, you can use it any college, is it even a public or a private or Ivy League, it doesn't matter. So oh. that's, yeah, that's the thing, 529. But uh, what are those uh, kind of a downsides or you have to use those funds for college education only. Oh. Uh, let's say you have a $50,000 and then you child, I uh, you know, got some kind of a scholarship or, a, an, or it didn't have to use that money. Then what do you do with that money, right? Then uh, you have to, if, you, if you're not using for other than education purpose, you have to pay income tax on the growth and you have to pay penalty, 10% penalty. So that's oh. a downside of having a 529 plans. Yeah. Oh. If so they don't use of, college education. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So there is so there are so many variances out there, but you know the program may not be one hour may not be enough for us. So uh, <laughs> if any of the families would wanted to know more about it, you know, without procrastinating. Yes, so, I am really sure. I am very serious. I wanting to find out all the options, and then I wanted to do something for my child. Then you know they can call our office. And then we should be able to help them. But uh, I don't think we can actually explain. But uh, I will sh cover as much as possible, you know, what are yeah. the process and minor. Yeah. Right. And uh, the other plan, Radhika, you were asking about right? other plans. It's a, there is a, there is a, another plan uh, similar to 520 is called a Coverdell uh, oh. education plan. So that's, a, uh, you know, it exactly works like a similar to 529, uh, oh. but it's as on the lower limits. Uh, probably for those in average income families, they wanted to plan, you know, that's another plan out there. And you also touched upon, you know, the custodial accounts, right? UGPA, UTM, right. yes. Yeah, there are other options that there are that you can use that uh, those accounts for. And uh, you also have a, a gift of college uh, programs or a you promise. Sometimes you see you promise, right? Uh, in those yeah. uh, cards. You know, those, yeah, those are all uh, little itty bitty programs, but they are out there. Um, oh. You know, how, what's your plan and whatnot. And you're also touched upon uh, 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 the important one, uh, really good. I mean, at least you can leverage is called Roth IRA. Yeah, Roth IRA. Yes, yeah. yes mm -hmm. you can. That IRA is a retirement account, right? People kind of see that it's a retirement account. Yeah, but uh, how can I actually use this one, right? But uh, see, these are the things. So these are alternative plans. You can say educational plans and what are the alternate plans because those education plans may not work for me because so and so reasons. That is one of the reasons 529 Radhika. So you contribute your money, right? $500 per month, for example, yeah. in 529. Where does it go? Where, is the, where does that money go? The money goes into the stock market. 
you can only okay. put the money into stock markets like indexes or whatnot then right. what is happening in the stock market you don't know unless you have a strong hold on the market then what would happen statistics saying 98 percent of the people who does in the market they lose money only two percent make money in stocks oh. so yeah. You know, but do you really want it to, you know, put, not many families are, com that's one of those side downsides of people not comfortable putting the money in there. Well, I mean, uh, my child is going to grow. Uh, it's guaranteed that, you know, my child is going to go to college, but can I guarantee that if I put the money in 529, can I guarantee that I make money? How? There is no, because uh, because the money is in stock markets. Okay, but you don't know. Stock, yeah. right. <laughs> So, you know, so those are some, you know, ups and downs about each and every, you know, option. So that's why there are some other alternative, uh, you know, for college education. For example, Roth IRA. Even though Roth IRA is for educational uh, you know, retirement purposes, but you can, there is a clause out there that uh, you can, you know, use the funds for educational purposes. There is some special oh. clause there. Um, but uh, you, uh, yeah. Um, uh, At least. Because what was the one uh, you're saying, Radhika? No, no, at least uh, we have the option for this with this IRA. Correct, mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, Roth IRA is one another example. And uh, um, so, but uh, there are, again, some limitations and there are, again, downsides. Um, okay. So what do we say? Uh, so Roth IRA is not everyone is eligible. Oh, okay. Uh, to contribute. Uh, you know, uh, again, I'm not a CPA, but I can only read the numbers. Uh, that uh, if a family's income is, uh, I think, about 199K, annual okay. family's income is above 199K, uh, please don't take me that number, please, Radhika, uh, yeah. that they are not eligible oh. to contribute Roth IRA. Now, no. okay, let's say they are eligible. Mm -hmm. Okay, then how much money? Again, there is a limit. You can only put, I think, uh, $5,500 or $6,000 per year. You can't okay. put too much money in there. Okay. So it's, it's, there's a limited uh, concept because uh, the concept of Roth IRA is pretty powerful. Maybe we can actually talk about it, income tax situations uh, in another show, uh, but a powerful concept is Roth IRA. I'll just oh. give you two lines. Uh, what is the power with the behind the Roth IRA? Is the money that you contribute to Roth IRA is after you pay taxes. Oh, after let's say you, you have a Roth IRA account and you want to put five thousand, ten thousand dollars. The money that what you're putting is after you pay income tax. Okay. 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 But mm -hmm. and the money that you take out after your retirement, because uh, yeah, Roth IRA is for retirement but, purposes. Yeah. When you take money out, uh, whatever the money you made all these retirement, you know, during this journey, you don't have to pay income tax. Oh, okay. That's yeah, a huge it. benefit. That means you put ten thousand dollars in your account today after paying income tax. By the time that you retire, that ten thousand dollars became hundred thousand dollars. For example, it has to become more anyways. So it it cannot be same ten thousand dollars, right? Uh, yeah. Then when you take the money out from hundred thousand dollars money out, you don't have to pay any income tax. That's very powerful. That's you know? one thing. Oh, yeah, you. yeah. So that's what we're talking about. You know, Roth IRA could be a one option for you. Again, uh, you need to assess your whole family uh, finances about what is your goal and what's your target and, uh, you know, what's going on in the whole family right now in terms of the finances and what, you, what are your other milestones. I call them as a big picture, Radhika. So right. I you know, I some sometimes you know families come with a small picture. Uh, I actually say, um, I can help you with a small picture, uh, but I would request you to, to uh, listen and think about your big picture. You know, small picture may help to the temporary. It's like a patchwork, but it's not as a whole. You wanted to see your big picture. You, oh. your family, your children, your house, your money, your properties, and everything. What is this all for? What are you yeah. doing? You know, yeah. you know, okay. Radhika, so, yeah, so that, that's, a, well, that's what I really kind of go about. You know, again, Roth IRA has, uh, uh, what is that, Radhika? So, again, the money goes into the stock markets. Again, yeah. you have to be good at, you know, stock markets. Otherwise, yeah. 
So yeah. that's one another uh, vehicle, Radhika. And then last vehicle is uh, uh, that what I kind of see is uh, um, people uh, or families uh, who can plan properly, but I'll tell you that anyways, the name is, uh, the other alternative is uh, life insurance. Life insurance. Yeah. yeah. You can leverage life insurance vehicle also to uh, plan or to accumulate some money for college education purposes or retirement purposes. That's interesting. You okay. Be, you have to be planned. You have to pro have a prop. You have to have some time. Sit with your financial professional. You know, share with your all the, the big picture. Then you come up with some plan. Then you plan. You strategize. Then you should be able to leverage life insurance vehicle for uh, this purpose. Life insurance vehicle. That's an interesting thing, thing to know. Okay. 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 Um, I mean. A lot of benefits with this Roth IRA thing, of course. Uh, I mean, all the plans are beneficial depending upon the individual again. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Um, yeah. you, got, you got that point, Radhika. That's very, very, you know, uh, important. You know, there are so many out there. We can't say this one is right. You cannot say this one is yeah. uh, not so right. Yeah, it depends about the individual. Yeah, your family. It's all about you and your family. What do you really want to do? Don't you see that, you know, you may not want to see that your friend is actually going for a Roth IRA. You think it's going to work for you for Roth IRA? You may not even eligible for Roth IRA because you're making loads of money. Let's say, you know, uh, uh, your friend is uh, below 199K. That is why he's eligible, right? Then you say, yeah. no, no, I want Roth IRA. No, I want Roth IRA. My friend did it. How can it is possible? So I think this is a, Radhika, this is, I think, awesome. You know, sometimes I get ideas when you talk, right? So this is a classic example. It doesn't mean that it works for your friend. It doesn't. Of it doesn't course. mean that it work because you're not even eligible for Roth IRA. What can you do now? So, so those we are the things. Alternate plan. Obviously. Yeah, there yeah. you go. That's what you need a, a good spectrum of about. And life insurance also has its own uh, pluses and minuses, right? So the pluses are whatever those minuses you're talking about, five twenty nine. Whatever the minuses that the five twenty nine has or the prepaid has or the Roth IRA has, all are plus now. So oh. for example, uh, 529, you have to use these funds for college education only, right? If you yeah. don't use what happens, you're going to pay penalty, you're going to pay income tax. But if you use this life insurance vehicle, you don't have to, because there is no restriction. Oh. You have to use this money only for college education. Hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. It, it, yeah, it's kind of evolves in. And then uh, uh, the life insurance, uh, in terms of a taxation purposes, Radhika, uh, whatever the Roth IRA we thought has a good one, like a, you pay income tax in the front, and then when you take the money out, you don't have to pay income tax, like a tax advantage, right? right so right. life insurance vehicle also uh, similar to uh, Roth IRA. That means the money you're contributing to life insurance vehicle is after tax money, but when you actually take the money, use the money out, you can actually use it in a tax advantage way. Oh, okay. So there, are, there are kind of pluses and minus. Yeah, what I was the... about to ask the same question. Uh, are there any income tax advantages and implications? I was about to ask the same question. Yeah, you got Very good. It. Yeah, I can recap. Yeah, thank, thanks. You know, I know you've got a really a very important points out there, but yeah. I may actually... I was thinking I, while you're talking, I wanted to ask yeah. whether, whether are there any, um, we have the implications or an income, income tax sure. advantages. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I can, I can recap the, again. So uh, I wanted to actually stress on this, you know, because when you're really talking about, uh, you know, uh, uh, giving you options for families, I really wanted to give, this is our way of doing, you know, uh, things for uh, the, the providing services or solutions, Radhika. We provide education first before we okay. provide any service or solution. Right. We want uh, we want the family to understand what they are going to get in, you know, right. without having important. clarity. Yeah, and especially the financial industry is so vast and huge. Uh, and the good thing is, uh, in United States, uh, the industry is. Uh, very regulated financial industry is very regulated so that means you know at least uh, it, it is on the consumer side that you know you have a much 
kind of a protected. But still, even though you need to have your own due diligence, you know, it's your family, right? You have to yeah. kind of understand what you want to do, what you write. So now the life insurance, and what is the downside of having a life insurance vehicle? Right. Mm -hmm. So now, the next, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I have to put somewhere, right? Like a gray area, whatever it is. So the life insurance vehicle, because this is an alternative option. Okay, it's not a direct option for college education. That's one thing, right? We have to understand that. And this, what does that mean? That means you have to have a vehicle first called life insurance. That means you have to have a life insurance to protect your own family. That's your first basic requirement. Right. Okay. Right. You should be actually taking using this life insurance without having a thought of life insurance. Oh, no, I'm doing this one only for my college education. That may not. We wouldn't do that way. You know, no. uh, okay. you know so that's what I really wanted to make sure you have the value. You want to see the big picture. Right. That's one thing. And then they, because there is, if you have a vehicle out there, life insurance, there is a cost around it. Right. It's not right. free. It's not like right. you put the money in here and you 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 get the money for college education. No, because there is a vehicle, a life insurance vehicle, they are the companies are protecting you for half a million dollar, one million dollar, two million dollars, right? There is a cost right. it around it. So right. there is a cost to it. And how the cost is determined? Cost is determined by the age of the person and the health condition of the person. Oh, if you yeah. the more old you are, the kind of conditions uh, health conditions you have, the premiums may be a little more than yeah. the healthy person. So right. that I may kind of a, a call it as a negative downside, uh, but uh, maybe that may be a kind of, you can take that as an encouragement. It's as a, while you are young, have it, yeah. go for it. While you are young and while you are healthy, go for it so that you have a vehicle and so that your premiums are lower and you have a more time to save for your college, child college education. Right, right. A lot right. of people think, yeah, I mean, I'm still in, why do we need to take now? And maybe I can take some sometime later. I mean, a lot of perception. People might, there are people who think in this way. Right, right, yeah. There is so much, uh, you know, Radhika, I'm really glad and very happy that, uh, you know, that Sakshi TV and uh, the Fun Factor invited me to share. Um, this is a, an absolute, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. a giving back to the community in my side, in our side. We wanted to educate as many families as possible uh, with right. a pure and clear education. So right. any, yeah. actually, any family out there, they can actually call us and we will give the information as much as possible. You know, Radhika? Yeah. You are doing a great job because uh, as I already said, financial planning is the best thing that uh, any individual can have because based on that lot of tensions will, uh, uh, I mean, obviously will, uh, they'll be out of the head and they can relax, basically, I can say. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we spoke about when to start about college planning and uh, so we have the option, you already advised the options for college yeah. preparation. And uh, so any other during this COVID-19, college preparation during COVID-19 is going right now, right? So any yes. advisors for that? Yes, yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, I don't know how much time we have here because that's a, a topic. I think we got a, these two topics. Uh, it's like, um, um, you know, when you have a, a parents who have a zero to eight year old, Okay. Parents who have a zero to eight year old, uh, they can practically still uh, start saving money for the college education. So okay. we learned, right? If the baby yeah. is born today, they have to start saving money five hundred dollars per month. Okay, but yeah. you know, they, well, I mean, this is the information they learn. But their child is already a seven year old. What can they do? Are they can they not? So uh, we have some kind of a solution. So we can provide some way kind of going around if you are still still as of today if your child is from zero to eight year old okay okay still you have a greater chance that uh, you can actually still plan for it okay that's for saving for college education right okay and then you may ask hey what about uh, my son is nine year old now <laughs> You know, it's all about, you know, the relativity, right? So why we right. say eight 
because still you have a 10 more years to go for college. You are eight, your, your child is eight years. That means you still have a 10 more years to go. So it's a yeah. good time to at least plan properly. Then if, you're, if your child is nine years old, you have only have a nine years. So we cannot stretch, right? You know, that's the whole idea. And the second part, what you're mentioning is Radhika. Uh, so now this is for the parents who have high school going children. They pass that phase. Now high school going means this year or next year, they need to start preparing for the college. Mm -hmm. What subjects they have to take and then what schools that they want to go. You know, that journey I'm talking about. I don't know whether we have that much time for that. Um, uh, um, uh, but uh, since uh, uh, since you kind of uh, uh, pointed out, and this is a kind of a in context with the situation what we have outside COVID nineteen, which right. is a very unfortunate situation and a very challenging situation for the humanity for the human race. And this is Radhika. Uh, I always, you know, uh, I mean, we have a, you know our uh, uh, giving back initiate giving back to the community initiatives. We can talk about that in the next, probably, uh, you know, one of those times. But uh, we do this thing. We actually see this is a very challenging situation. It's no joke out there. You know, we are, uh, we have to, you know, look at the situation. We have to do, uh, uh, we have to do our part. It's just not that we stay home and then, you know, just keep going. Uh, we, we have to kind of be part of that and support the situation because what is happening is you know we're all actually home and then uh, slowly some states actually released uh, relaxed their things and then started opening these businesses and then again the graphs are growing growing up then what are we actually in general i'm talking about you know there is so much i'm not a doctor again like i was not a cpa i'm not a doctor so i can't talk about it but i can talk about in general right the so graphs are growing growing what we what can we do so the minimum thing radhika Say is you know please wash your hands. I know this is a boring statement, but uh, its value it has its value, and I believe and I'm sure how many uh, how many people are really religiously following it. Yeah, I'm and with this phase two and all people are going out, and I know everyone uh, will be uh, thinking, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, but yeah, you never knew. Yeah, we have to be careful. There you go. That is what very important. We are all very optimistic, right? We wanted to be, we should be optimistic. We wanted to be positive. Hey, nothing is, I'm very, uh, very defensive. I'm very safe. I'm very healthy. Nothing is going to happen to me. If right. everybody's that way, that means, that means, are we not doing it? Are we, are we not wanting to, to actually follow these precautions? Not yeah. for your sake and for others' sake, not only for your sake. So please wash your hands. And then the important thing is we touch, we, I mean, it's religiously how to do it because, you know, without touching our nose, if we really reluctantly look at it, uh, Radhika, we cannot stay longer without touching nose. And I'm, I'm telling you, uh, you know, in here, just to understand the public, uh, I've seen so many TV programs, while they are talking about COVID-19 situation itself, they're touching their nose. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of a, trying to actually bring, I mean, no, we can't wait so long. Now, you know, the statistics saying there's going to be a more, a bigger wave coming up. We don't, uh, we, can we yeah. afford that? Number can we that? Yeah. yeah, so yeah. I really wanted to do that, uh, you know, this thing, uh, um, Radhika. So please, I know, do not touch your eyes and nose and mouth without washing your hands. Oh, please yeah. thank, you, thank you once again for uh, reminding and giving the advice here yeah now. yeah religiously i would say i would <laughs> add this one i would add this one radhika religiously that is more important you know not just in you know, as a practice religiously you have to practice otherwise we won't be able to it may take longer to for us to get out of the situation while we will definitely get out of the situation we may take longer time so radhika yeah, so we I have a caller uh, in the last, uh, we have three minutes to go. I think we have a caller. Okay. Hello? Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think uh, it got cut. Uh, anyway, uh, very nice talking to you and it's a great information that you have shared. And of course, financial planning is very important to every individual. and.
we'll continue with a lot of information in, in, uh, in our next show. Thank you. Thank you for uh, being in our show. And thank you for all your valuable advices. Thank you, Radhika. Thank you so much. And if any of uh, you know viewers would like to contact us, you know we have the Facebook called the FinLitsy Financial Literacy for Families. FinLitsy, you can Facebook, you can search for the Facebook. You should be able to contact us or Sakshi TV. Then we should be able to help any. Thank you so much, Radhika, for taking us in. Thank you, Thank you all. Thank you. So, two sir, kada, this fun factor program ni, ni ke mena advice se mene kawal anta sabkunda contact chandi. Thank you all. Have a great weekend.